Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Liu Yiguang from 360 Technology. Uh, I'm the uh, researcher from Unicorn team. Uh, today my topic is about the uh, public warning system in LT network. And, and my title is uh, uh, Warning Magnitude 10 Earthquake is coming in one minute. Okay. Uh, uh, here is the agenda. First I'm going to introduce you what is the public warning system in LT network and what it is used for. Uh, then I'm going to talk about the uh, vulnerability in, in LT protocol. Uh, then I'm going to introduce you the how to trigger the vulnerability. And the first thing is to build up a, a fake base station, and then we need to forge the fake warning message. And in the last part, I will talk about the uh, mitigation and the risk of the uh, potential risk uh, of the vulnerab uh, vulnerability. Okay, let's talk about the, uh, what is the, what is a public warning system in LT network? Uh, the uh, public warning system is used to uh, alert the public to such disasters, such like, uh, as the uh, earthquake, the Tuzmani, and the nuclear war, uh, and even the zombie outbreak. Uh, in other words, when you receive a warning message on your mobile phone, it usually means that you are in big trouble. You should find a safer place as soon as possible. Uh, there are four kinds of uh, public warning system all over the world, and the ETWS, which is the earthquake and the Tuzmani warning system, uh, it is used for Japan. And the uh, commercial mobile alert surface, uh, CMS, is used for the USA, and the KPS is for South Korea, and the uh, E-Alert is used for European countries. Although there are four kinds of uh, public warning system, but they share the sim same uh, architecture and the common signaling procedure. Uh, uh, okay, here is an example of the American CMAS uh, uh, example. And this is an arrow missile, arrow missile alert in Hawaii last year. Okay, please play the demo new reporting. How did it happen that false alarm in Hawaii that led to 38 minutes of terror? More than a million people warned of an imminent missile attack told this is not a drill. Families huddling in closets, parents hiding children in manholes. ABC's Jim Avila from Honolulu. The worker blamed for causing 38 minutes of fear and panic is reassigned after a routine internal test turned into the nightmare scenario for more than a million Hawaiians. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. The dire message causing this father to hide his daughter in a manhole. Families to race into World War II era bunkers. Tourists to gather in hotel basements. I had my mom on speakerphone on the mainland and I was calling and saying goodbye, you know, to my family. All starting during a shift change when officials tell ABC News an employee mistakenly clicked missile alert instead of the test option. 807 Saturday morning. The warning. This is not a drill. In just three minutes at 810, the command center knows it's a false alarm. Official word taking an anguishing 38 minutes to come from this room. Okay, from the video we can learn that even the this is a false alarm, but it can cause the population a huge panic and a dis disruption. Uh, but luckily this is just a mistake of the operator in the network center. It is not issued by an attacker. Uh, but we may wonder, is it possible that we can forge the f uh, fake warning message and issue, issue it maliciously to the population? And the answer is yes. Uh, this is the basic architecture of the uh, public warning system. And the CBC and the CBE are used for uh, uh, generating the warning message. And the MME and the EMB are used for uh, transmitting the uh, warning message from the network to the mobile phone users. And, uh, and uh, th there is a vulnerability in the air interface, which is uh, uh, the warning message are not encrypted or uh, integrity protected. They are just uh, transmitted in clear text. Uh, another vulnerability is that when the mobile phone came to a, on a new cell, it doesn't authenticate the uh, uh, authenticity of the uh, cell. So we can f uh, set up a fake base station Okay, let's see how to trigger the vulnerability. Uh, first, we need to 
uh, set up a fake base station. Uh, the, uh, the hardware is not very complicated. We just need a, a SDR device, which is used to uh, send the radio frequency signal uh, and a laptop to, to run the LT uh, pro protocol stack. Uh, the SDR device we use is a USRP B210, and the laptop we use is a ThinkPad. I recommend that you better use the uh, uh, high performance uh, laptop because the LTE's bandwidth is very large. Uh, the, the LTE prot protocol we use is an open source LTE platform, which is the SS LTE. Uh, OK. Uh, at this time, we are going to uh, forge the fake warning message. Uh, they are, the, the warning message is defined in uh, LT system information block. Uh, there are 13 types of uh, information blocks. Here I list the 12. Uh, the SIB10 and SIB11 are used for transmitting the uh, ETWS warning message. They are used for Japan. And the SIB12 uh, are, used, are used to transmit the other three types of warning message. Uh, OK. Uh, because the, so there are four kinds of warning message, uh, but uh, they share the same uh, same uh, architecture, uh, and the ETWS, which is used for Japan, is the most complicated. Uh, it has two levels of uh, alert information. Uh, the SIB10 is used for transmitting the first level, which is the primary notification, and the SIB11 is used for transmitting the uh, secondary notification. Uh, the page message is used for uh, make the mobile phone to receive the warning message as soon as possible. And the SIB1 is used for scheduling the SIB10 and SIB11. It's just a, a control message. It doesn't uh, contain the warning message. Uh, here I'm going to uh, talk about the detail about the primary notification. Uh, this is a structure of the SIB10, which defines the uh, primary notification. Uh, it, it is a screenshot uh, of the uh, LT standard specification. Uh, uh, the the picture below is the source code we added in the SSLT to uh, to transmit the warning message, and we perform a uh, ASN one encoding uh, because the SSLT doesn't uh, support the uh, sending the warning message, so we have to add the source code. Uh, okay, here is a, a, an example of the here is the demo we. This demo is the warning message we, we, we forged. And this is the primary notification. Oh, let's see the demo. Please play the demo. OK, uh, this is a primary notification. It just uh, uh, contains the fixed uh, uh, information. It, it cannot customize the content. The text is just the ETWS. Uh, and it will make a very harsh alarm with the earthquake uh, reminder. Uh, well, the secondary notification can customize the content. And uh, uh, it also supports the segmentation when the warning message is too large. Uh, and, and it also supports multiple languages. It supports Chinese and English. We can use the uh, GSM-7 for uh, sending the uh, English and use, use UCS-2 to send in the uh, Chinese warning message. Uh, this is the architecture of the SIB-11, which defines the secondary notification. And, this, and the picture below is the source code we add in the SSLT to send the secondary notification. Uh, uh, what's more, uh, because, the, uh, because the secondary notification can be customized, so we could any, add anything we want uh, into it. Uh, if, if we want to send an earthquake warning message, we can add the earthquake cent uh, epic center, the magnitude, the time, and the location into the warning message to make it more like a real one. Uh, uh, and w we found that when we set the message identifier to from 
uh, uh, 0x1104, uh, uh, the, the mobile phone will not make harsh alarm. It, it will just uh, make uh, very mild bells. We will see it uh, later in another demo. And we even could make the warning message to send the advertisement. Uh, and it's just irre irrelevant with the uh, warning mess uh, earthquake warning message. We could add anything like uh, the phishing website and the phishing phone number into it. Okay, here, here is the four uh, fake, fake warning message we have forged. The first two pictures are the earthquake uh, warning message. Uh, we add the uh, earthquake uh, location time and the magnitude. Uh, it said there will be an earthquake in Beijing and Tianjin. Uh, the second picture is the, is the same content we translated into Chinese with the UCS2 uh, encoding standard. And the last two pictures are, are not the earthquake warning message. They are just the emergency warning uh, because we set the uh, identifier to 0x1104 uh, and we add, uh, add the phishing website and the phishing phone number respectively. Okay, here is a uh, demo of the uh, secondary notification. Uh, this is a, a fake warning message that we, uh, uh, and uh, please play the demo. Okay, uh, at this time we can see that the, the mobile phone will not make a very harsh alarm with no earthquake, a reminder, just a very mad bells. Uh, uh, all the tests we have done before is uh, based on the Google Pixel, but also we have done many tests on other phones uh, because China doesn't support the PWS. Uh, so our domestic version Android phones like Xiaomi and Huawei uh, doesn't support the uh, public warning system. Uh, they have removed the function in the in the uh, operating system, uh, but the our domestic uh, our China version uh, uh, iPhones uh, will respond to the warning message under the only under the test network, uh, which whose MCC is zero uh, zero one and MC, MNC is uh, zero one. Uh, they, uh, they will not respond to the warning message under the network of the China Mobile, China Unicorn, or China Net. So our China doesn't need to worry about the uh, warning message. Uh, this uh, next, I will show you the uh, the response of the uh, China version iPhone. Okay, please play the demo. Okay, so it is a uh, China version, but it, it speaks uh, uh, Japanese. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, here is the conclusion part. Uh, I will talk about the risk and the mitigation. Uh, imagine that if there is a football stadium, there, uh, there are four people, and and just like this picture, and at this time we set up a fake base station, and we send out the uh, fake warning message, like the warning. Uh, magnitude 10 earth earthquake is coming in one minute. Uh, what will happen? Uh, because the warning message is a broadcast message, so it can be received by all the mobile phones users simultaneously. Uh, and all the mobile phones that support the PWS will make a harsh alarm uh, with an earthquake reminder. And this may cause the population a huge panic and, and even a stampede when they try and escape from their seats. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do to prevent this uh, uh, fake warning message. We could use the 
seismic, on seismic uh, uh, encryption to protect the warning message, uh, the network can use uh, the uh, private key to append a digital signature into the uh, warning message, and the mobile phone may uh, use the uh, public key to uh, authenticate the, uh, to verify the authenticity of the network and, and the warning message. Uh, this may prevent the fake warning message, and I hope our our public warning message will not uh, use use the clear text anymore. Uh, okay, uh, here's my talk. Thank you. And any question? No. Okay. Thank you.